How's it going, everyone? Welcome back to another episode of The Ranked Report. This week, we have a fun team which, as you can see, was uh, built by Cybertron, um, as well as some of his building teammates, um, which revolves around Tatsugiri and Dondozo, or so you would think. Um, so Tatsugiri and Dondozo is um, a pairing that a lot of people have explored kind of early on in this metagame. Um, the way it works, uh, for anyone who is unaware, but look at Dondozo's ability, it's very funny. Um, is that Tatsugiri's ability, Commander, means that if it's on the field at the same time as Dondozo at any point, it will jump inside of Dondozo's mouth. Um, what that means is Dondozo will get a plus two boost to all of its stats. Um, but now Tatsugiri effectively is gone. So it's a 2v1. You get a load of buffs, but you're fighting a 2v1 and you can't switch. Um, so on paper, it's kind of powerful. Um, I think in practice, it's significantly less effective than you might expect, especially given that the metagame is uh, moving in a way at the moment that um, Murkrow is very popular, so there's haze all over the place, Clear Smog and Moongus can give it trouble. Um, so there's a lot of things that can stymie it. Um, Dondozo's speed isn't great, which means that even with the plus two boost, it's still not outspeeding a lot of stuff. Um, but all in all, not a terrible option. Um, I don't think it's particularly amazing, but we will uh, we will see. I've, I've played with this team a fair bit. If you've been watching my streams, you'll know that I've been using this team a fair amount on stream. Um, I've been really struggling to bring Dondozo Tatsugiri um, into a lot of games. Um, and then Tatsugiri, we've got a Choice Scarf set here with Icy Wind, Draco Meteor, Muddy Water, and Soak. Um, Icy Wind uh, is just nice speed control. Put it next to Hydreigon on the Ascarada as a Scarf, and you can Icy Wind stuff. Um, Draco Meteor does pretty decent damage. Um, Tatsugiri's got a, a, a pretty good special attack stat. Uh, and Soak is interesting next to Miyaskarada, um, just so you're firing off super effective flower tricks. Um, oh, I should also mention there's um, Terra Grass on, on Dondozo. Um, is interesting because it means that you have a better matchup into Miyaskarada, uh, which otherwise can just crit you through your boosts. Um, and also it makes you immu uh, immune to Spore and Rage Powder, which uh, can kind of hassle you from Amoongus. Um, and then the back four here, we have Armor Rouge. So the back four acts like a Tail Rune team, um, which is an archetype I really like, just because it feels very flexible in how you play it. Um, so you've got Armor Rouge, um, which is Trick Room, Wide Guard, Armor Cannon, Psychic. Wide Guard, very valuable in this meta at the moment, with Goldango everywhere. Um, Spec to make it rain does a million damage, so having Wide Guard on Armor Rouge is very, very nice. Um, Trick Room set it with Safety Goggles to get around Amoongus. Um, and again, hits Amoongus very hard with Armor Cannon and Psychic. Um, good to have a Steel Resist and a Fairy Resist on this team. Um, Armor Rouge is very... I've been enjoying using Armor Rouge, and it's Terra Dark here, which, first of all, removes its weaknesses to Dark and Ghost, which are pretty handy. Um, handy to get rid of. And also, it just means that things like um, Pranked Pokemon like Murkrow can't taunt it, for example, and stop it from setting up Trick Room. Um, next up we have Sylveon, um, this is just a pretty standard Sylveon set, Terra Fairy just to boost your Hyper Voice and your Quick Attacks, uh, Throat Spray, it's kind of the go-to item at the moment on Sylveon given there's no Pixie Plate in the game, and then you want to protect, good support moves. Basically just does it, get it in position, click Hyper Voice, do loads of damage, is the is the play with that. Um, Hydreigon, we've got Tailwind Hydreigon here. Um, with Draco Meteor, Dark Pulse, Flash Cannon and Tailwind, and Terra Steel to get around... Um, Fairy types, Terra Steel also uh, walls most opposing Garchomps. I know some of them have started running like Terra Blast with Terra Fire, which can hit you pretty hard. Um, but generally, I think Steel is a very good Terra type on this. Um, lets you take on other dragons, lets you take on fairies. Uh, lets you resist Goldango's hits, for example. Uh, so if your opponent's got a Tailwind up or something, you can go Terra Steel and Dark Pulse or Goldango to death after you tank the hit. Um, and then lastly, we have Focus Sash Meowscarada. Um, this is a very interesting Meowskarada set, because um, it's got Trick Room itself, um, and I found that Meowskarada is actually a very useful Trick Room setter. Um, you'd be surprised, you'd expect it, because of its speed it wouldn't be that useful, but with a Focus Sash and Dark Typing, making it immune to like Prankster Taunt and stuff, it's actually a pretty effective setter. Uh, Flower Trick and Knock Off are good stabs, um, Trick Room and then Fake Tears is good support for Hydreigon, for Armour Rouge, for Sylveon. Um, and there's Terra Grass here just to boost up your power tricks, but I don't think you Terra Meowskarada that often. Um, you'll notice Meowskarada has Overgrow um, rather than Protean. Um, I think a lot of people were expecting Protean to be the next big thing. Um, or Protean Meowskarada, sorry, uh, to be the next big thing. And Protean sets do have a place. Um, like, I know a lot of them run coverage moves like Play Rough or U-Turn. Like, Choice Band sets can maybe run Protean. 
um, for example. This set, though, there's not really any point, because, um, I mean, you're not going to use it defensively at any point. And if you um, use Flower Tricks, for example, you lose Stab on knockoff if you uh, have Protean, because Protean doesn't work the same way as it did in Gen 8. So in Gen 8, it changed every single turn whenever you used a move, uh, whereas now it's once per switch in. Um, plus, Overgrow and Focus Sash have some nice synergy, so you get knocked down to your Focus Sash, and then suddenly you're in Overgrow range, and your Flower Tricks are doing a load of damage. Um, but yeah, that is the team. Um, like I said, I, I've not been using Dondozo Tatsugiri that much with this team. I think the back four is very solid, though. Um, we will see. Uh, let's, uh, let's jump into some battles. Okay, our first opponent of the day is running a very similar team, actually. Um, Meow Scarlet, Arm Rouge, Dondozo Tatsugiri. Um, so this is the yellow Tatsugiri, which I think with order up boost speed? I could be wrong. Um, and then Murkrow and Goldengo is the last two instead of uh, Hydreigon and Sylveon. Um, this is definitely not a, a Dondozo game because they have a Murkrow and uh, Meowth Scarada, which makes it very difficult. Um, so I can't really bring Dondozo here. I don't really like Tatsu into Tailwind either. Um, is Tatsu okay here? Yeah, it's not great. I kind of like Hydreigon. I do like um, getting Tailwind up here. They don't have that much that can threaten Hydreigon. Um, Hydreigon, I should like keep pronouncing it wrong. I think like a Hydreigon Armor Rouge lead is pretty decent. Um, like Sylveon Meowth Guard at back end. My plan is I want to match their Tailwind just so I can keep pace with Goldengo. Um, it's kind of the game plan here. Because I've got two Dark types, Goldengo shouldn't be too difficult. I've maybe left myself a little bit vulnerable to a Dondozo lead here, um, which I should have been a bit more wary of. Um, hmm. Yeah, I need to be a bit careful about Dondozo. I could have led Hydreigon Sylveon, for example, into Dondozo and gone for like Tailwind Yawn, turn one. Could have been good. Um, hmm. Okay, yeah, we've got... It is Nova Gold, go. Okay, fine. So I predicted that one perfectly. Um, I think I just White Guard Tailwind here, right? I guess I could just White... I could have gone White Guard Dark Pulse there. Might have been a bit more sensible. But I think I like getting Tailwind up this turn. Again. Well, I guess if Mercury... Yeah, I don't want Mercury to like, taunt me this turn, then I get flattened by Gold Dengo the turn after. They also have to be scared of Trick from here, so I don't know if they... Uh, if they do set up Tailwind here, I'm actually in kind of a bad spot. Okay, get my Wide Guard. No switches from my opponent. We see... Thunder Wave? What the heck is Thunder Wave Murkrow? Oh, Christ. Okay, fine. And they steal Beam. Great. I'm probably just dead to that, aren't I? I'm not! Let's go Hydreigon. Big moves. That one goes up. Okay. Um, do I just take the free Dark Pulse into... Goldango? I think I do, right? Is that not Specs? Is that maybe Scarf? I wasn't paying any attention to speed orders that turn. Did Tailwind go off before or after the, the thing? I'm going to armor cannon this just to be safe. I... Okay. Well, something's not going to enjoy this. Oh, you're really not going to enjoy this. The Tailwind. Okay, so Armour is just going to eat a Dark Pulse here. Fine. And now, hmm. 
Okay, that's a little bit irritating. Um, comes in. Okay, interesting. Um, I mean, they might just want to take out my Hydreigon here, and I don't think I can really do much about that. I think I just let that happen. Um, it's kind of done its job at this point. Um, I'll just Draco the Meowskarada, I guess. Actually, I guess I just want to be safe here and break a Sash. I'll just Flash Cannon it. And then I'm going to go Terra Dark here. Um, just to get around a knockoff from Meowskarada, I don't want to take that much damage from it. I'm just going to TR. Okay. This also means that Mirko can't like, taunt me, for example. I don't know why it would. Yeah, there's the knockoff. I get the flash cannon off, so that just breaks the sash. Which is good. And then they foul play my Hydreigon. If I'm not fully paralyzed this turn, this is great for me, because then I just bring in Sylveon and start pressing Hyper Voice. Please. Thank you. Okay. That's really good for me. Because um, now, yeah, Sylveon just wins the game, I think. And I mean, I guess I just armor cannon the Murkrow. Yeah, I guess paralysis is there out there. Come on, Sylveon. Good. Okay. Yeah, I think that wraps it up now. Um. Crit on Murkrow kind of matter. It may have mattered for the purposes of specifically the Hyper Voice. Um, but I mean, if my armor cannon goes off here, then it doesn't matter. I like what's Murkrow doing there anyway. Yeah. Um, cool. No more Tailwind. Which actually benefits me here. Because of the Trick Room, but I mean, I'm slower than the. Middle thing, anyway. Very weird situation that game where I ended up with um, I ended up with Tailwind and um, nah, I guess I just killed a single target plus one. Yeah. What was I saying? I ended up with uh, with Tailwind and Trick Room up at the same time, <laughs> which is an interesting scenario. Um, okay, well, that's a good first game, I think. Um, Again, that's a, that's a really good example of how that kind of variable speed control mode works. Um, that kind of tail room mode. Which, like I said, I, I really love the flexibility of teams like that, where you can play around with speed tiers so much. Um, let's see. Let's see if our next game we can bring Don Dozo to. Um, I think so, like, Murkrow is absolutely everywhere at the moment. Um, so, for example, in that, in that game, like... Murkrow Meowskarada makes Don Dozo's life so difficult because, I mean, obviously Meowskarada can crit through the boost or it can just knock off lefties so I lose my recovery, um, which does make Don Dozo significantly easy to take down. Um, and also Murkrow just has haze to get rid of any boosts immediately. Um, and Thunder Wave, apparently, which is odd. I've not seen Thunder Wave Murkrow before. Okay, ooh. It's Golengo again. <laughs> Actually, I was, I was streaming yesterday um, as of time of recording. Um, and as I was playing, I ended up, I had a Goldengo counter going on, which, what did I end at? Um, I think it ended at, like, I played 17 games or something, and, like, 12 of them had a Goldengo on the opposing team, or something stupid like that. And again, I can't bring Dodozo to this game, because of the Murkrow. Like, if I bring Dodozo, it just get hazed. Um, I think it's just a, a similar thing, right? I could lead Meowska. Hmm. Yeah, I like Meowska lead into Primeape. Oh, sorry, Annihilate. Um, I could go Meowska Sylvie, but the problem with Meowska Sylvie is if they just go 
Cold then go into... Well, no, if they do that, I can go for Protect and Trick Room, which I think still is fine. Only this. It seems to be very weak to Titar on the back, is the thing. Um, I'd love a better Titar check back end. Um, but we can't always get what we want. <laughs> This music's so catchy. I don't think it's particularly good, but it's very catchy. From this could just be Gambit EQ, which would be very bad for me. I think they're worried about Sylveon here, though, right? I feel like you've got to be scared of Sylveon in this situation. Let me think, let me think, let me think, let me think. So if they do go Gambit EQ, I just get Hype Voice off and I clean up both Mons. Or I, well, I'll get a single target Hype Voice on the Garchomp. They could Terra Ground though, which would make it a bit difficult. Ugh, I could always try and contest with Tail in there. I think I'm just going to have to hope that they don't double my Meowth Um. Yeah, I was going to do Terra Ground on Chomp. Uh, maybe I should have just gone for the Flower Trick there for damage. That's not good. Meowskate, it's Trick Room. I think I just have to set Meowskate out of here, unfortunately. Um, not really anything to it. I'm just going to flat trick the chomp, it's not going to go off. I think... <sighs> I'm just going to hard to Hydreigon here, because Hydreigon takes Phantom Force Earthquake pretty well. Um, and that lets me bring Sylveon back in on the Meowskate out of slot, and just go Hyper Voice and Dark Pulse into the Garchomp. Um... Oh, they protect their chomp. Interesting. I was expecting them just to attack there. The Phantom Force Meowska. Eh? Not sure I understand that one. Um. Eh, well, I will... I thought just Flower Trick the... Is Draco going to kill Chomp here? Kind of has to, I feel. Uh, I mean, I can save... Um... I can save Meowska here, I think. No, I think Annihilip switches. I think Annihilip wants to switch here. If it stays in Infanta Forces again, I'm absolutely in a fine spot. Um, I'm just going to go Draco into Chomp. Oh, they draw Chomp. Interesting. What are they going for, though? Who is this? Mercury. Oh, that's getting nuked. Goodbye. Oh, is that Sash? It is. Hmm, okay. Big damage. Get a fan force again. That's fine. Um, so I think they probably want to hit Meowska here again, right? Um, so Meowska is just dead, unfortunately. Um, I guess I'll try and knock off the Murkrow slot. Hydra is going to switch into Sylvie. And I set to get in a position where I can... Um... <clears throat> hmm. Brave Bird? Oh, shit. That is not good for poor Sylveon. Why are they Brave Bird? Weird. That's fine. Okay. Yeah, bring Hydreigon back in because that just threatens the Garchomp again. 
Um, Sash Brave Bird Murkrow is very weird. Can't say I've seen that one before. In comes Chomp again, yep. Hmm. In comes Hydra. Okay, how many turns left on Trick Room? One. Okay. I'm going to do something that looks a little bit weird. Because um, I think my opponent wants to um, protect Garchomp this turn. So what I can do is I can guarantee that I well, I can ensure I have speed control the following turn. Which I think is more valuable. Yep. Perfect. Again, that flexible tail run mode coming into play. Um, get rid of the Annihilate. And now I have uncontested Tailwind, because they didn't get Tailwind up themselves with Murkrow. The problem is, this Sylveon doesn't have any fucking speed investment. <laughs> so if I were to build this team myself, I would just give this Sylveon, like, three more points in speed, so that it outsped Garchomp under Tailwind. Because at the moment, it doesn't. Which I think is a really bad piece of EVing on a Tailwind team. Um, but it's fine, we can work around it. Who's the last? It is Goldengo. Great, I love this guy. Um, given it's Goldengo, I am just going to go Terra Steel here. Um, and I'm just going to. I think Terra Steel kind of hard walls. Again, most Garchomp, especially if they're Terra Ground, are going to be just Rock Slide Earthquake. So I'm going to do this, and I guess I'll just Hyper Voice in case they let me. Um, yeah, I'm just going to Terra Steel on Hydreigon here just to tank all the Garchomp hits. Um. Pulse, should kill. Ooh. Goodbye. Yep. Yeah. I'm fairly certain that crit didn't matter. That is a Life Orb by Dragon stab Dark Pulse, and it's super effective. And now watch my Sylveon not be faster than Guard Jump. Yep. Yeah. Okay, they don't have Dragon Claw, so good thing I went Terra. And then. Okay, explode, please. Yeah, so if I'd, if I'd just been faster, that would have been over a lot faster. Um, a lot quicker. I used the word faster too many times in that sentence. Nice. Again, like, I couldn't bring Don Dozo Tatsugiri to either of those games, just because of the presence of Murkrow. But, in both games, that flexible Trick Room Tailwind, like, both games, I was in a situation where, at least for a brief period, I had Trick Room and Tailwind up at the same time, which I find quite entertaining. Um, oh, I love this style of team, this, this style of Tailwind team. Um, with that, like, hyper-flexible speed control. We saw a couple of different Terrors as well. We saw the Arm Rouge and the Hydreigon going Terror there. Um... Cool. Very interesting couple of battles. Uh, I enjoyed those. Hopefully you all did as well. Um, that is going to be it for this episode. Um, if you did enjoy, please do leave a like on the video and sub to the channel if you have not done so already. Um, also, go follow me on Twitch. I'm streaming a few times a week at this point. Um, so if you want to check out more live battle content, you want to see me use some different teams, uh, interact with me a bit more, then Twitch is the place to go. Follow me there. Link is in the description. Uh, and yeah, that's all for me. I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.